CES coverage sponsored by Audible.com, where books come alive. Listen to a bestseller on your iPod or MP3 player. You can get a free trial over at audiblepodcast.com forward slash CES. Continuing coverage of the Consumer Electronics Show, Jeffrey Powers with Geekazine and the Tech Podcast Network. We're here over at the Verizon booth and, and the big TV screen that I wish I had in my living room. We've got Brian here from Verizon, and we're going to show off a great little phone using the new LTE technology. For some of you that are, aren't 100% on this, there's two versions of 4G. You have LTE and WiMAX. Verizon chose to go with LTE because of the the, the so one of the, a couple of things that you get with 4G LTE is we've got great download speeds, great upload speeds, and really low latency. It's also going to be the global standard for 4G, so you're going to have good uh, global roaming capabilities. Okay, so now we have the HTC. I like to call it Thunderbird. Thunderbolt, exactly. Thund oh, I'm sorry, Thunderbolt, not Thunderbolt. Thunder. The Thunderbird yep. was a TV show. Thunderbolt is this phone. This is this Thunderbolt. Phone. So. Yeah, so one of our first 4G LTE smartphones. We're really excited about it. Um, got great feature set, a 4.3-inch touchscreen. Mm -hmm. um, and, of course, running off the 4G LTE network, you're going to be able to do great things like Skype mobile video. You're going to be able to do, uh, play real-time multiplayer online gaming. Um, take pictures with your 8 megapixel camera, upload them over the 4G network super fast, download movies, music, things like that. So uh, a lot of great capabilities that get unlocked because of 4G LTE. So what kind of processor is in this? This has a 1 gigahertz processor. Um, and let's see, some of the other specs, as I said, 8 megapixel camera on the back, 1.3 for the video chat on the front, uh, 40 gigs of included storage. So you got tons of space for movies wow. and pictures and videos. Yeah, so it's pretty, pretty hot. All right, and uh, you said the 4.3 inch, inch touchscreen, right? 4.3 inch touchscreen, yep, and it's, uh, as you can see, it's got a kickstand in the back here, so you can actually uh, prop it up either landscape or horizontal, so if you're watching movies or doing video chat, yeah, really convenient. Yeah, I wish I had one if I was on the, when I'm on the plane here. Yeah. Oh, totally, yeah, it would be great for that. Um, and it's running the new uh, Sense 2.0 interface from HTC, so they've built in a lot of great customizations, make things really easy for getting around and navigating through the operating system, really convenient. Any really cool apps that you're finding on this phone? Um, well, it's got access to the full Android market, so anything that you can put on another Android phone you can do, but we've got a lot of great applications that we're going to be coming out with for, for video and music, and um, you know, look, Skype Mobile I think is going to be a killer one. Um, you know, being able to, you know, I would have loved to have that this week, talk to the family back at home. Uh, a lot of music services, uh, NFL Mobile is a great application, so watch, you know, looking forward to that today to watch some live uh, NFL games, yeah. Oh yeah, the, the Packers are playing today. Uh, the Jets are playing today too, so. <laughs> Um, really quick, uh, the, what uh, are there price points on this show? Nothing's been announced yet, so timing for the launch and the pricing not yet announced, but stay tuned for more information on that. Now, and you also have some, you also announced about 10 different items, including some new uh, uh, dual core processing yep. uh, units out there. Yep, so the, uh, the Droid Bionic by Motorola will have a dual core processor, as will the Motorola Zoom. Uh, we've got two tablets, we've got four smartphones, we've got two uh, hotspot devices, and a netbook and a notebook. So we got a, a wide wide range, plus a ton of other things that have embedded 4G LTE as well. So you'll have a processor to, to work just as fast as the LTE network. Absolutely, yep, so there's, the <laughs> phone will be as fast as the network if uh, you know they play nicely together. There we go, and uh, Verizon.com is where they go? Go to VerizonWireless.com, actually if you want to see everything from CES, VerizonWireless.com slash CES, um, and check out everything we got. VerizonWireless.com slash CES. Yeah. Brian, thank you very thank much you. for your time. Thank you. Appreciate it. For the Tech Podcast Network, my name is Jeffrey Powers.